I did not know the episode was going to start like that. And I have, I just heard about what had happened. I didn't see what had actually happened. Jay just Cor looks like he grenaded itself there at the pass. Went over there, tagged the back end of Trisha's car. And then she went rolling. And just to let you guys know, now I'm not positive about this, but I think Trisha's injuries from this wreck were the worst injuries anyone's had from a wreck on Street Outlaws. I See, the thing is, I'm not positive about the details on the Chief wreck, because that was so long ago. But from what I've heard about this, like, the the injuries Trisha suffered from this wreck right here in Zip Tie, my instant thought is this is the worst the worst injuries we've seen a driver sustain on Street Outlaws. The thing is, too, there's there's been instances where we don't know, too, like, it, it's not a main guy or someone wrecks, we don't know too much about that, but I think these are the worst injuries we've seen because she had her hips messed up she had i mean a whole bunch of stuff was messed up as well now i don't again i don't know the details and stuff too much i don't even want to get into the details of that well, i know jj had some pretty serious burn swell because you saw from that shot right there looked like a fire bomb went off in the middle of his car yes he heard one i agree Th we're thankful we haven't lost anyone yet thank god for that yeah perry langford i know chief hurt his back but outside of that i don't know anything else that had happened and again that was so long ago too i'm not saying it's not as bad being that it was long ago but i'm saying i don't like because of that i don't remember or maybe i'm i don't remember in the severity of it i still think i mean what do you guys think was the worst, what appeared to be the worst wreck we've seen on Street Outlaws? Honestly, I think it's still Chief's wreck, which was the first wreck. No, oh, well, was that before we saw Kayla drive off into the grass? But I don't even think she rolled it when that happened. Chief's car, oh, dude, do you like they showed it for the next like four years, every season, it seemed like. Chief went, went up, kicked off the side star a barrel rolling when end to end mid air and just kept flying past since that like that was insane some other really bad wrecks were i remember i see uh money energy said mustang mike he because they were saying if he had if there when he hit a tree although there was a like rental car in front of the tree and i remember hearing people say yeah if that tree wasn't there the car would have been split in half so that could have been the absolute worst one, but that one was very bad as well, too. I remember just recently Brandon James' wreck was really bad. You guys were saying Monza. Monza's, I don't remember Monza's being that bad, I thought. Kamikaze's was bad, too. Man, now, as you, I'm saying this, and I'm seeing you guys say all these names in here, I'm forgetting there's a lot of, there's been a lot of wrecks. So a whole bunch of people have been asking if Big Chief's going to be racing in No Prep Kings. And I'm going to let you guys know, he ain't. Chief and Jackie, they ain't doing anything with that no prep kings funny business. And we keep speculating time and time again. Is Chief gonna be building a car for no prep kings? The answer is probably no, because they're all about the streets, ladies and gentlemen. It takes a big toll to go back and forth from one thing to the other with the same car. That's why I said, or if he were to build the race no prep kings, he'd probably build another car. The thing is, I mean, they don't even like no prep racing that much. I'm like, go back to episode of the Chief and Shancho. Chief said multiple times, he's like, I don't even like no prep racing that much. And I understand why people want to see Chief and no prep Kings. I mean, he won the Bristol race. He won a no prep Kings race and the only race in a handful of races. And he won Outlaw Armageddon, which is arguably the most impactful or influential no prep race of all time. That was the race that got big drag racing media captivated or made them pay attention to no prep racing for real so it makes sense why people want to see him in no prep kings but it just ain't for them they don't want to do it they're not going to be doing it they're doing all the street stuff we can imagine we're gonna be seeing caddy jack on the streets caddy jack will probably be going to maybe some small tire no prep stuff i would imagine dig or die type events back of the track stuff but mainly it'll be street stuff ladies and gentlemen and also too with the crow Chief said in not his most recent video, but the video before, where he kind of explained the America's List situation. He's like, where, where do you guys want to see the crow? Because we're going to be racing down the streets, and we're going to be seeing a whole lot of that all summer long, ladies and gentlemen. Chief and Jackie on the streets. They ain't going to be out at No Prep Kings. The thing is, too, if they were at No Prep Kings, they wouldn't be able to do the street stuff because all their time would be dedicated to doing No Prep Kings. So there'd, be, there'd be no point in them to go to No Prep Kings 
just to do it. If they're going to go, they're going to go to try a win. And that'll take away a lot of time and effort from the other stuff they like to do more, All in all honesty, which is the street stuff. And that'll be their main focus all summer long. But if they do end up going to any events, make sure you follow them on social media. Chief and Jackie both on Instagram. Make sure you follow the new Midwest Streetcars Automotive Instagram as well to keep updated in regards to anything they do go to. Because if they do end up going to something, it'll be posted by them on social media. But in regards to No Prep Kings coming up in Season 5, nope, they won't be partaking in it because they're going to be all about the streets all summer long.